Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our November 2018 BMW 440i Coupe. This is the M Sport with the auto gearbox. This car's covered just 12,480 miles. It's a one owner car from new. It's finished in mineral gray metallic. Has about seven and a half to 8,000 pounds worth of um, optional extras on this car. If we come round the front of the car, you'll see this has got the lovely BMW LED adaptive icon lights. We've got some black gloss grills as well at the front here. Front and rear parking sensors. The body works in beautiful condition. If I just show you around the front of this bumper, there's no damage or anything. There isn't even hardly a little stone chip. I mean, it's very, very clean even down on the bottom, which is a usual, usually the area, you know, where you get a few little marks and things. And all along the top here, the bonnet as well, no nasty chips or anything. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished. Two of my detailers here spend uh, a whole day on a car. One specializes on the exterior of the car, mopping the paintwork and, um, the other one specializes on the interior of the car, making sure the car is nice and clean and then detailing around the car. So if we just look there on the side there, we've got the privacy glass or the sun protection glass as BMW call it at the back. The 704M 19 inch alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes. They're a slightly bigger caliper and a 330 mil disc opposed to the 300 and a bigger pad. So we'll just take a little look round. I'll just bring in and show you these adapt. These are the adaptive LED lights. They're a very expensive option. They're 1200 pounds alone just for those headlights. The car's also got the heads up display and the digital dash, which we'll show you in a second. All of the alloys were in lovely condition. It's running on Bridgestones. Just come round and show around the rear of the car. And up onto the boot lid there. You can see there's no, no marks. Then they don't just run the mop over the car. I mean, they spend a lot of time on each panel, machine polishing, any little fine scratches out where people have washed their cars over with sponges, etc., And we get a really beautiful finish. And then the orbiting mop sort of oscillates, circulates around. And like I say, it gives you a lovely glossy shine. Just look at that shine. And then you can see the heads up display just down there. So we'll come round to the other side, I'll just show you the rear, We've got the twin pipes at the back. We've got rear camera as well. The LED rear lights as well. So we'll take a look in the passenger side. Dan can open the door for me. Thank you, Dan. So we've got the ivory white Dakota leather on this one. So this is a slightly lighter color than the Oyster, which is a little bit darker. We've got the pearl chrome finish at the top and then the hexagonal finish on the door trim there you can see the Harman Kardon speakers the door cards in lovely condition we'll just take a look down the door edges here and underneath we've got the puddle lights you can see how nicely the car's been prepared we'll look along this sill here we've got electric seats electric bolster as well so the bolster is this section here and here and that's inflated with this little rocker switch just down here, the black one. Now on the uh, ivory level, we've also got the, I think it's like a gray stitching. So it sort of highlights the stitching as well. And also the little piping down there, that's another option that they've opted for on this car. We've got the professional media, which is touchscreen. Heated seats, obviously. The Harman Kardon gives you a, a few extra speakers, one being at the top there. 
I'll just take a look in the back. Let's see, it's a really, really nice clean car. It's got all the original mats as well. And then we've got an electric button to move the seat back as well. We've also, on this one, we've got M Sport seat belts. So it gives you the little uh, red and blue pinstripe lines up the side. Quite a nice little touch there. So let's we'll make our way around to the boot. So on the coupe, they've all got the um, drop down seats, a little handle at the top there, and another one on this side. So you can drop the seats down at the back. All the carpets are in nice condition at the back. If we take a look underneath, you can see it's all nice and clean down here. Got your tool kit just here, with locking wheel nut. And uh, another area I think we'll just check out is the top of the bumper. There's no damage on there at all. All the black trim is in lovely condition. Dan's going to start the car for us. Triangle at the top. So we'll pop that down. Got a nice purr from the engine. A really nice sounding six cylinder engine. I'd just like to show you all around the car just to show you how nicely presented it is. And that really lovely glossy shine. So we'll open up the driver door. Again, the driver's door card is all in lovely condition. I'm just scanning my eyes around to see if there's any marks, but nothing there. I'll bring you down again. All lovely and clean. take a look at the seal got all the badges the tire pressures etc now we've got the memory seat on the driver's side now this is the area that most people like to check is the bolster there's no wear on the bolster all in nice condition So we'll jump in, take a look. Okay, so first of all, you'll notice the difference on the dash here. So this is the digital cockpit. And with the digital cockpit, when you change the drive mode down here, in fact, I'm just gonna whack the lights onto there. So down here we've got Eco, Comfort and Sport on the rocker button. We're currently in Sport. I'm gonna take it all the way back to Eco Pro. So in Eco Pro, you get a different uh, display to give you all your economy and when the car's charging, etc. If we go into Comfort, another display. If we then use the mode button down here, Ah, we've got heads up display on at the moment. So down with the rev counter up another display. Let me just, if you just bear with me for a second, I'm gonna go into, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into displays and we can turn the heads up display off. And then what you'll notice is you can have your dab channels down here, FM, AM, Music collection is the 80 gig hard drive. If we use the phone button, it will display other numbers down there that you may have used. So come out of there. If we pop the heads up display back on, you can also see on here that you can adjust the height of the display and the rotation. So you can get it so it looks straight to you. So I'm gonna zoom in now if I can Turn these lights off just for a second. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. 
sadly the display is just below that white car's headlight yeah not really showing up because we've got a white car in front of us but the heads up display displays directly in front of you so we'll come out of there just uh, adjust the camera so down on the steering wheel we've got speed limiter cruise control we've got voice control and the mode button which we've just gone through down on this stalk we've got the adaptive lights this will bring if i put it back onto the lights I press the button it will only work on auto so I don't think it's dark enough there we go so you can see lit up on the left there if I turn it on and off again that switches the adaptive lights on just there we've got our paddles either side as well auto wipers etc going back onto the digital, bleh, digital display if we go into sport it then changes again and then we've got our gears over on the right hand side and the speedo is on the left if you go into sport plus it basically just turns off the traction control as you can see at the top so that's your digital cockpit so if we come up onto the touchscreen media you'll see if i come in here we can then move all of these around as well i'm just trying to find our oh, navigation there's the navigation so if we then come over to the left we've got all the sub menus down here we're going to go into map views you can put put it in direction of travel we can then save that down on one of the buttons you can save radio stations some of the screens on the sat nav you can save telephone um, numbers so you can put your girlfriend your wife your mum on uh, number one for example and if we go into here, we could go into perspective. So if you're in a city and you've driven in on this display and then you're into a built up area, you want to flick it quickly over to the other one because it's a lot easier to judge the junctions and stuff like that and the roads that you might be turning down. You can flick between the two. I'm not sure if we've covered this section here, but this is where you've got your heated seats, dual climate control. Sport mode on the gearbox, by the way, is over to the left cup holders this is where we control the i drive if we're not using the touch screen so one thing i haven't mentioned yet is this car is fitted with the adaptive m sport suspension so when we go into eco pro or comfort these shock absorbers will um slacken off basically and they do that by a valve on the shock absorber which releases the uh, oil pressure in the shock absorber to make it a softer ride once you go into sport the ride will stiffen it pumps a little bit more pressure into the shock absorber from what i understand and uh, stiffens the ride so when you're driving on the country roads you want a sportier feel something that feels a bit more engaging the ride will change accordingly now this car also has the adaptive sorry it's the variable sport steering so it'll also um, tighten the steering up so the steering in normal mode in eco pro and comfort is lighter for driving around town so just make it a lot easier to drive the car and more relaxed and then when you go into sport it sort of uh, tightens up to give you a much better sort of feel to the road with the wheels at the front obviously just having a look around there we've got all the books and then yep we've got sliding armrest we've got the usb in here there's a 12 volt socket in here by the way and bmws have another one just up under the dash here so if you've got like an ipad or something you want to charge separately you can do that I'm just going to check what else we've got the reverse camera so let's just pop it into reverse just to show you that so you've got the reverse camera there which also shows the parking sensors on the left come out of there adapter suspension some protection glass the folding mirrors and the seat belts we've mentioned so yeah so we've got the folding mirrors just here they will also fold in uh, by pressing and holding the lock button on the key fob and then when you unlock the car they will fold out again 
So this is the fun bit under the car, uh, uh, sorry, under the bonnet, not under the car. So this is the straight six twin power turbo three litre engine. These are 326 brake horsepower, I believe still. A Celtic remap will take one of these up to about, I think it's about 400 brake horsepower. The whole engine bay is cleaned using uh, a lot of WD-40, which is very safe to use in the engine bay. We also go around the engine bay and take off, I don't know if you've ever noticed, little like browny bits of wax that's left on there from when the cars are manufactured. And we wipe all of that off to give a nice clean appearance. All the gullies are hoovered out. Make sure the leaves don't block any of the waterways. You'll see all up under here, under the bonnet, is all lovely and shiny. So they spend a good hour and a half, two hours under the engine bay, cleaning round and making it. We just enjoy what, what we do here, really, I guess. It's quite satisfying to compare cars to this level. And uh, some of the big supermarkets, they just obviously haven't got the time to do what some of us smaller dealers can do with our vehicles. So that's probably the biggest difference. So a really stunning looking car. I think I've covered all of the spec, but please check the advert because we'll go through that um, and make sure all the spec is on there. But a really nice looking car. We've got all the usual dealer facilities for finance, extended warranties, etc. All of our cars are serviced at local BMW dealer and all the service history goes into the car. So everything goes out up to date and if it needs an MOT, I don't think this does, it's too new. But uh, they're all gone, for, uh, you know, we go through them all, and make sure everything's up to date and check everything, including brake pads, etc. So thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been really helpful. Please give us a call with any questions. Like I say, if I've missed anything, drop us a line and we'll be happy to answer your questions. All the best, take care, bye.